Hi everyone, I'm Jean from ExtraFatigue.com. Welcome to my channel. I haven't been on YouTube a lot lately, but before the end of this year, I wanted to come on here and say happy holidays to you all, and thank you so much for bringing a viewer this year. Today I wanted to show you guys some outfit ideas incorporating the color red. Red is a very classic um, and festive color, and in China, where I'm originally from, it's also a very lucky color. Before, I would have trouble pairing outfits with red because it's a bit brighter and more bold than what I'm usually used to. But after figuring out some patterns and knowing what works and what doesn't, it's become easier. So I'm going to share some of those tips with you guys. Today, I'm going to be using this red pencil skirt in all of my outfits. But really, if you have anything red, a mini skirt, pants, jeans, or even a top, you should be able to carry through the color schemes here throughout your outfits. I got this skirt actually at a thrift store. It was marked um, at $6, and I found this splotch on the front. I know that's kind of gross, but then I used it to go and bargain with the manager, and I got it down to three bucks. And then I took it to my tailors and spent around $25 to get it tailored to fit perfectly. The first color scheme I want to talk about is black or white with our red skirt. This is the easiest pairing and everybody has something black or white in their wardrobe. Right now I just have on my black blouse from H&M, this is old, and it has lace trim. And paired together with the red skirt, this just feels so foxy to me, yet still elegant. This is something that I would like to wear to maybe a nice dinner. And if you have a shorter red mini skirt, I think this would work nicely as well for a night out. If you don't want to look too hoochie with black and lace and red, you can tone down the look with opaque black tights and just a simple black pump. For my second pairing in this color scheme, I chose this white chiffon blouse from H&M. I got this just last week, so it's current, and it was only $9.95. I love the look of stark white against red. It just looks very crisp and a little bit French even. Nobody would ever guess that this is a $10 blouse or it's a $3 skirt. I wore this look to work last week and I accentuated the white with just some pearl stud earrings and for fun and warmth I have on some sheer tights with a fun little polka dotted pattern. Yikes, I don't want to rip my skirt. For one last look in the black, white, red color scheme, I wanted to show you guys a more casual outfit. I just have on this slouchy cotton t-shirt from Loft that has black and white print on it. I'm just going to tuck it into my skirt. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I love wearing just plain, you know, casual t-shirts tucked into skirts because it helps define the waistline. And I'm going to emphasize my waistline with this belt. And since this belt has gold hardware, I just added on a few chunky bracelets. I would wear this outfit with just some casual flats. These are tweed, cap-toed ballet flats from Talbots. I got these last year. And now in the same color scheme, you have a more casual weekend outfit. Our second color scheme that we're going to work with here is neutrals. Since red is brighter and bolder and it tends to be on the cooler side of colors, pairing it with something neutral and warmer, like a light beige or a light brown, is very pleasing to the eye. Here I have on this beige gap blouse from last season and because it's very neutral here and it kind of fades into my skin tone, I'm trying to keep things interesting here with patterned accessories. I have this Michael Kors tortoiseshell watch on and I also have these leopard pumps from Calvin Klein that I wore this outfit with. Because the leopard has the soft brown base, it still ties in very nicely with the top but it adds some interest. A reader of mine suggested pairing camel brown with red, and I love the idea of that. Camel with red is one of the all-time classics. I would love to add a camel coat or maybe a camel blazer to my wardrobe soon. Right now, all I have to show you guys is this, but it'll do. Just use your imagination and picture this thing as a cozy cable camel sweater and just see how beautiful these colors work together. It's just a very chic and casual look for the fall winter. For our last category of pairing ideas, we are going to work with patterns and prints. So on the color wheel, red is next to orange and purple. So they're said to be neighboring or analogous colors. 
These are colors that I definitely normally would not think of myself to pair with red because they're equally as vibrant and bright, but they go surprisingly well together. This glass I have on right now is from Loft. We've got the red, and we've got a little bit of orange in this burnt orange color, and we also have some dark purple and some pinkish purple. So although it may seem very busy to put this together with a bright red skirt, it goes together unexpectedly. For an added layer, I'm just going to stick within the color family already here and just pick one of these colors for a cardigan or a jacket. I have worn this outfit in the past with this brick red cardigan from J. Crew, or you can go a little bit brighter and more fun with a cardigan this color, which goes with this bright pinkish purple that you see in here. So because my outfit here is already so busy and vibrant, I want to keep the shoes sleek and simple and very close to my natural skin color. I did a video before on the neutral pump, and I have quite a few. So normally I choose from either these Christian Louboutin Simple 100 pumps in nude, or I also have these Mossimo by Target Versi pumps in natural. These have a little bit of a platform. Our last outfit for today is a bolder combination. When I saw how well the leopard shoes worked with the red skirt, I decided to try it up top. I think the key to making a combination like this work is to one, keep your other body parts covered. You don't want to do this with a mini skirt or a cleavage bearing leopard top. And number two, keep the rest of your body and your accessories very neutral. Here I'm using just another beige blouse from The Gap to cover up my chest. And this is a leopard cardigan from Ann Taylor. And I am finishing off again with a nude shoe. You can also do a light camel shoe to keep your legs streamlined and not take more tension away from the outfit going on here. This Dassault may be bordering on like a trashy combination, but when done right, keeping those two points in mind, I think it can actually be very classic and beautiful. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this segment. And as always, if you have any outfit ideas or suggestions for pairings yourself, I'd love to hear them in the comments or on Twitter or my Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe and happy holidays, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.